All right, so we're here on Whitetail Drive. Doing the interior inspection. So I'll just hold the camera and walk through. Jeannie's with me. How's it going? Good, good. I brought my wife Jeannie with me. She's an architect, so. Nice to see you. I'd shake nice your hand. So yep, there you go. Yep. I'm, still, yeah, I'm still shaking hands. So. Yeah. <laughs> so he just wants me to walk through with the GoPro and do the full. I looked at the model. She's got a good eye, so hopefully she'll appreciate some of the details and all the stuff the owner did on it. Yep. So okay, let's go. I'll shut the door so you want yep. to start. Yep, absolutely. Don't come in already? Or? Yep, yep. Okay. So just the floor plan real quick. To the left is the downstairs master. Yep. The office and the sitting part of here. Formal living room, dining room, and the kitchen's in the back right corner. Because there's another bedroom on this level. Yep. Upstairs, you've got uh, two more bedrooms and a loft. You okay if I walk on the carpets? Anywhere you want to okay. go. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll just make sure some more lights are on so you can get better. <laughs> No, it's, it'll be fine. It's This thing's pretty good with the light. Mm -hmm. So yeah. basically you walk right through the foyer and go into the living room. This guy is a builder, Jeannie. Mm -hmm. The guy who built the house is a builder. Yeah. That, that's cool, those cubes on the wall. Yeah. I like that. This is nice, the frameless glass right here. So you're looking right out to the pool. This is a nice pool. That's nice, the hot tub's there and then the pool's there. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah. So, again, here's the front door. So as you walk in, so living room there, that's the dining room. You have like a little parlor here. And then you have another one here with an office. And then this walks into a real office with these pocket doors here. This looks like it's all built in. Really nice quality though. I'm guessing you had some kind of video monitors there. Yeah, this is a built in desk. It's interesting. It's like this was set up to do business out of here. Okay, so that goes to the master right there. Here's the powder room. Here's the powder. So again, here's the here's the foyer. Yeah. And then you walk back here. To the right into the master. So how many bedrooms are there? That's interesting master. So it has a little retreat area as well. Let's see here. So you're looking out towards the pool kind of area there. Yeah, so you have this retreat. And this goes out to the hot tub right here. And the pool. Whoop. So you got this little 
kind of coffee drink area. <clears throat> Can you close that door? Thank you. All right, so here's walk-in closet number one. This must be his with all the tie racks. Solid core doors. So again, here's the entry to the master. And then, so the bed's against that wall. And then here's the second walk-in closet. So again, that's the entry. And then here's the master bath. Looks like it's got steam all built in here. Yep. Dual shower heads. That's cool with the steam room. Mm -hmm. That's cool with the steam room. Mm-hmm. That, that's what I was doing, or how the, the steam room was. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love the same thing. I don't know how this looks on film, but this is actually it's actually a really good quality. It's a nice quality. I mean, it's very yeah. fancy. But, yeah. It looks a little... But it, I, I like to have jets on it because yeah. it's kind of a jacuzzi. I like this a lot. I wish your bathroom had... Obsidian black. Mm -hmm. So you got mirrors all the way around here. Mm -hmm. So obviously hers. Then you got a fireplace in the bathroom and then his. Almost curved enough where I can see the back of my head. Everything's like all the holes, everything's pretty decent quality here. Everything's in really, really good shape. Wallpaper here never goes out of style. So pantries for dirty laundry. Alright, what do we have here? Home automation. I guess that's a fan for this room. It's just really nice details everywhere. Something yucky on the wall there, but speakers in the ceiling, crown molding everywhere. So again, walking out of the master, you can walk right towards this office. And then you have the sitting room right next to it. And this is your guest powder for the house. So front door, foyer, master. I'm sorry, uh, living room. It's actually a really large living room. So this is your dining room. So, two-way fireplace to the living room. This is all obsidian black. Hmm. Okay, so again, front door. Walk over here to the right, and here's your staircase that goes upstairs. But first I'm going to go over here. This is the door to the garage. But you have this guest suite downstairs. 
seem like really high-end carpets too. Got the speakers and the ceiling. Plantation shutters are okay. They feel like a, a, yeah, I think they might be wood. I don't know, they might be plastic. So you have all the equipment back here. Closet system in here. This has its own bathroom. Ooh, look at that. Wow, I bet that was a fortune. It's got to be hand painted. Wallpaper. It's actually nice. Plastic tub, but. Not sure what that is. So here's the dual staircase going up. Hi, Jeannie. Man, if you took this wall out here, God, it would open the place up. So again, that's the dining room. And then you have a butler's pantry. And then the living room. Man. So this has a European style kitchen. It's just cut off from everything else. Here's your laundry room. Okay, ironing board. I'm not sure if there's a sheet from upstairs for this. Oh, this is interesting. The cleaning lady has her own bathroom and shower. Or maybe this is, yeah, this is for the pool. That's cool. All right. No, no laundry chute. Looks like the alarm box, smart box. Definitely uh, set up for having your own private cook. So again, there's the dining room. And here's the kitchen. It's got a little desk here, a little desk here. Another side deal there. And then you have a full, I'm guessing this is supposed to be a pantry here. Beautiful, the frameless glass. It's crazy, they have these cheap screen doors on here. Oh, whatever. <clears throat> Man, if you could just blow that wall right there out, get rid of the, I don't know, maybe leave the butler's pantry, but blow out the wall to the dining room. Bosch. These tiles are gorgeous. Decor. Well, got the blender deal again. Decor. Got your fireplace in here. It's definitely a European style kitchen, huh? Sub-Zero fridge. It's definitely yeah. a European style kitchen. This is beautiful right here. Oh, that, that beautiful space I've got. The I mean, don't, don't you think like if they took this whole wall out somehow, I don't know what you do with the fridge, but maybe this wall and opened it up so you could see the, the butler's pantry and the dining room and get rid of all those walls. Yeah. Have this all open to the living room. Yeah, that'd be cool. But the thing is, it has not too much space to put cabinets. It's just... No, I know. If you take this wall up... Yeah, you'd have to put some over here or something. Yeah, the cabinet would be somewhere here. But, the, like... You could put some more cabinets over there. But, but, yeah, exactly. You could open that up. But this right here, this wall needs to go. 
if if this wall was gone, this wall, that wall, that <laughs> wall, no, it'd be nice. Oh, it would be beautiful. So I was thinking more like I will open this wall complete. Yeah. All these. And the one in the dining the little room here. Yeah. I live in this, but I will. I yeah. Open this. God, you have to. Yeah. That one is nice because yeah. you can have like a little vestibule living for the office. Yeah. Which is, is kind of cool. But I don't know. But, and yeah, then, and open this up. Yeah. And open all this space here and here. Yeah, that needs to be opened up. Mm -hmm. And then that. That needs to be opened up somehow. Yeah, this one, like a whole part of the kitchen. Because you can use that big room. That's the kitchen there. So the sink's right behind this. this. I will put this, these appliances to the wall at the end. Yeah. There's, like you, big, did you see like there's a bathroom, bathroom in there, though? For bathroom. the, yeah, it's for the for pool. The, huh? It's for the pool. Oh, right here, okay. see, look. Well, well, full shower and bathroom here. Oh, that's funny. Well, maybe you can, if you have a the pool, I will open the door from the pool and close it here. Yeah. And make all this kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can, you can have all this kitchen. Look, all this. If you have that, you can put your cabinets, a big part of a cabinet like that. Yeah. And then open all this. Yeah. And leave this like a... You can even leave an island there, like a little bar. If you open this, you can leave something here. Yeah, have this be a bar. People sitting here. So have like this a be a bar. Huh? Have this be a bar going around. Like a nice bar here. Open. Look. Yeah. Until here. Yeah. So you can serve drinks here and stuff and be in a living room. Yeah. I will put a door, a sliding doors to go outside. Yeah. Get so rid you can open all this area, kitchen, living room, because. That's going to make your living room bigger. I don't know, you just got to get rid of those. Yeah. I think the thing that's crazy is the screen doors. Mm -hmm. These are funny. All right, we'll go outside really quick here. Going out of the master. This hardware is all excellent. I think it's, I'm guessing that's M Tech. And then they have these cheap screen doors. <clears throat> Split stone out here, slate. So again, that's the master bedroom. It comes right out to the hot tub. That's beautiful. Boy, this is gorgeous. We have one air conditioner on the side of the house over here. Looks like a brand new unit, pretty much. That's funny, the condensation line. There's the landing spot for the rocket. It's funny, there's a, the park outside has like a little mound mm -hmm. and it looks like a landing spot for like a rocket. This is really nice, the stone they used here. So again, this is the living room door and that's the master bedroom. This frameless glass is beautiful. Yeah, maybe just take that screen door off. Huh? You just need to communicate inside with outside. Yeah. Here's the kitchen. Not sure they have a loop for the pool equipment here. That's funny that they have a balcony here. But they didn't use it, they make a full wall in the second floor. Really? You open the second floor to outside. Huh. Got the barbecue island. 
This place is awesome. And you have a gate to the park outside too. That's nice. Here? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I know you guys remember this, but probably some of it you forgot, so I'll just film all of it. So this is the door to the laundry room, and that's where that bathroom is for the pool. There's the pool equipment. Yeah. Here's the pool equipment. So you have one, two, three, four, five pumps. This seems a lot, like a lot of pumps. Hmm. We got the Jandy pool heater, that's good. And two more AC units here, both trains. And the side entry to the garage too. See that? They even did stonework around the doggy door. Look. The doggy door, look at it. I know. Look at the frame around it with the <laughs> stone. Did a thousand dollar frame on the doggy door. <laughs> so I noticed you also have the outdoor speakers here. That's good. into the kitchen man you could open this up so nicely hmm. is it okay to go in the garage okay thank you So, side load garage, insulated garage doors, lots of storage. I, I think your truck would fit in here, Grant. Especially if you took out one of these banks, I think you'd have no problem. Wow, they had those crazy screens on the windows too. That must have really made the place super dark inside. Ugh, these are awful. So fully finished. Here's the hot water heater. Guess that's a is that a hundred gallon? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a bicycle storage system. Epoxy coat floor. Pretty nice. Yeah. So as you come in from the garage, you have that downstairs suite. Yeah. All right, hit it up. God, this would be so nice if you could see it from the front. Like if that wall was gone right there and you could see the stairs from the... Yeah, if you take off this wall, it would be nice because you, yeah. from the entry you can see the store. The story, the second floor stairs, yeah. and you can see the outside. It's beautiful. Yeah, you have these you dual staircases. Yeah. So this is like a private card room up here. And something I noticed, I don't understand why there's no window there. Why wouldn't they put a window here? That's why. And I thought that was a door to go outside, but it's a closet, and the other one is a laundry. Huh. But this one, if you open it, you know, it can go to the outside terrace. This, there's a terrace back here? No, Or back there? Oh, here, okay. So this is glass here. This is literally like an upstairs private card room. Yeah, that's a nice place. Very cool. But it needs to be open to the outside. All right. Here, too, here, too. Over here you have another full suite. So 
But Jeannie was saying that there is a balcony here that's not being utilized. I don't know where. Must be behind the shower. Ooh, that's cheap. Corian. Standard tile and yeah. This room could use a little love. So the balcony must be behind that closet. Where's the balcony? That one has a bathroom. This one has a bathroom. Ba the balcony. Oh, there's no balcony. Oh. Well, there's a balcony out there. There's just no door to it. Strange. Oh, this must be Christopher's room. Put all this stuff on the ceiling. All right, let's see what Christopher's view is here. Looking off the front. Yeah, I don't understand why that card room doesn't have a picture window. Crazy. Man, I really think you could do so much with this place. This place could be awesome. They're just simple, silly mistakes that they have here. Just plain Jane tile. This place could be phenomenal. That that needs a window for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't understand. Maybe there's. I don't know if that one is the. Oh, it's the living room. It's the living room. Yeah, but why not have glass like that here? To see the the living room. Have it open so it's. But why you put the TV? I don't know. I don't even understand what this room really is. It's, I mean, it's a game room for like a pool table, but... I think the second floor is made for two kids. Yeah, this is supposed to be their gathering area. Yeah, so it's like, yeah. it's funny that... Uh, yeah. I think that they sacrifice a little space to conserve the, the shape from outside, you know, the... the yeah. Hmm. The are very neat <laughs> well, there we go. This this whole deal here, this, these walls. Yeah. Yeah. So that wall upstairs is the living room. So I guess what you could do is open that up there. I don't know. Hmm. There must be like dead space up there or something. Hmm? It's interesting. Hmm. All right, close this guy. Boy, these are beautiful doors though. Everything is just really good quality. Everything. Yeah, this wall is the back of the. Of Up the, there. Yeah. Hmm. So again, here we are at the foyer. So the dining room is just kind of. It's all chopped up. Lots of walls. Just a very European style home. Just separate. It's just. It's just like this house is set up to have a maid, like a full-time housekeeper here. And I'm guessing that housekeeper would live in that room by the garage. Yeah, all, all of this just needs to get cleared out. Yeah. Again, master, office, Parlor, living room, dining room, butler pantry behind the dining room, kitchen. Well, that's it. Oh, I agree. Yeah, that'd be nice up there on that flat roof. That's flat, but it's higher than the, the exit from that. Yeah. 
Yeah, if you change the color of this, it wouldn't look as much like a medieval castle, huh? Mm -hmm. God, it's a beautiful home. It, it is. It's very strong. He, the architect tried to get a lot of symmetry in the house. Mm -hmm. And probably leave these two living rooms and then open the hall yeah. from the kitchen and maybe I think for a million dollars, that's a buy. Yep. That'd be, that's money in the bank. Yeah, you can, you can take it. Three, as a builder. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, I think live here for a couple of years and I like that house, it's nice. It's not even that complex. Whitetail Drive, 9201. There's a Stanley King mobile. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna walk around back really quick. Y'all see the park? Boy, these guys have a lot of leaves to pick up. Hi. Here, I'm gonna go up on the rocket takeoff place. The spiral path going up, pretty cool. So you got this whole walking area back there. I can't believe you could get this. If you could get this for a million or a million one, that's a home run. Really nice. It's cool how the trail goes. Woo! Yeah, ride a bike around there. This is beautiful trail network. Like a little castle. So by the way, the guy was super apologetic for screwing up the showing. So he kept saying he was sorry. So what he told me as well is that the guy said he was about ready to rent it out. And for a million bucks, he was gonna flip it himself, which I don't know if the guy could do it. He's from either Scotland or Ireland. That's why it has that European feel. And um, so anyway, I think you'd probably take like a million to one one if you did a quick close on it. Sounds like he really wants to get rid of it before the end of the year. All right, there it is. You like it? Thumbs it's, gonna, up. it's gonna be super cool. Yep, that's what I think. You think paint it white? Yeah, and yeah. the stone. Oh. Like a white or an off white? Like an off white or white? What 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 kind of white? I like the I like the, the stone color. Yeah, the stone's beautiful.
Let's look at the house next door too. Kind of a Mediterranean style. Give you the drive up view. Yeah, Jeannie might be right. Like a white with that, leave that stone. That'd be incredible. I'd think maybe a little bit of an off white, but. Man, that house could be just gorgeous. It already is super nice, but. Let's change that floor plan. This could be a $2 million house. Easy. 